I think this is it's a great question actually, though it's not relevant, but it is also relevant. In that the whole purpose of this relationship is for Air Asia to develop its own reflow and to develop it to another level. Now if you notice my strategy over the last uh, two years, I said there's going to be a lot more focus um, on filling our planes and going to more destinations. Hence, we have looked at joint venturing, and this is the first, of where uh, we share the capital commitment and we also have the expertise of people who've done it um, for a long time and done it very successfully. With us, trying to develop an airline from 100 plates to 200 plates, plus to develop an online travel agency, um, plus all the other things that we're doing, makes no sense. You see some airlines doing more, adding more and more complexity, we're the opposite. We want to just be really good at moving people from A to B at the lowest price. We don't have a cargo, we don't have maintenance repair, etc., etc. But there's a huge opportunity. Do we do it ourselves, or do we do it with people who've been doing it very well around the world and be, being a market leader? And that's what this is about. So it's enabling us to remain focused and disciplined, to be able to do our core business well, and our focus and discipline is why I've been saying for nine years, but also be able to really grow the market hugely through this partnership, much bigger than we would have ever done it by ourselves. And by having that ancillary income, we're able not to raise fares. And I think at $130 oil, when you see our first quarter numbers, we begin to see the power of what we built. Um, and we have no fuel surcharge, we have no intention of putting a fuel surcharge at the moment. And uh, we'll provide, continue to provide our customers with the lowest fare. But it's through relationships just as this, which adds a huge impact to our bottom line, we're able to keep our fare. So we're monetizing our passengers who will require these services anyway and taking more of their wallet into our being able to be able to keep fares down. So a long answer to a short question, but it's all about focus and discipline. It's all about being a much larger pie than we could have done by ourselves and enabling us, and Surya income makes up about 19%. Uh, it's about 40 ringgit per passenger right now. My medium term target is 60 ringgit. Each ringgit is equivalent to $1 oil. So if I get 60 ringgit of ancillary income, that's about $60 a month. With this relationship and some of the other things we're going to announce in the next few months, we're confident that we can keep fares where they are. Um, but if we have to put in fuel surcharge, we will, but it will be very low and hardly impactful to the consumer. But right now, $130 oil, we're very comfortable.